Hello, Paul Bonington, Vice President and Publisher of Engineering News Record. You know, today, the built environment for our youth and our students to learn, be motivated, and move on through high school to college is so important. That's why e &R has partnered with the New York Schools Construction Authority to run this conference today. We're learning about what's happening at the SCA, what their plans are for capital improvements in the future, and how the construction industry and the designers can participate in improving the way we build our educational systems. Let's hear from our sponsors, our attendees, and they get their reactions on what's happening today. We work very closely with ENR and McGraw-Hill, but the most important part of this for us is really bringing together a high level of the contracting community uh, in order to let them know what the future opportunities are and the changes that have been made at the SCA. We depend on uh, these contractors they're all excellent and they all do our work and we really want to keep them updated. You get an opportunity to hear some of the changes they're making that is going to increase competition for them. Um, we don't have enough of those opportunities anymore. Um, so the SCA uh, is the largest part of the city's capital budget. Hard, hard, hard to believe. Um, so it's a significant part of our, our, of our industry and it's a very significant part of the, of, of the city in general. So the ability to hear from the, the highest level people about what they're doing, how they're changing, uh, is an enormous, because we're headed into a market where a lot of people don't necessarily have to compete in the public sector. And that's not good for the SCA and it's not good for the industry. As a sponsor and being a contractor at SCA, though I learned so much uh, with the panels and the discussion uh, that uh, they had today on issues of cost, uh, issues of how uh, certain uh, elements are being done at the SCA. So really thank McGraw-Hill and the SCA of putting this, uh, uh, this program together. This is important because instead of waiting around for after the first of the year or whenever to figure out what the next five years are going to be like, Hopefully we'll hear about it today, and it's a good way to judge um, where the city's going and where our company is going, so we know how much we're going to bid, and if there's not enough here to bid for us, then we know we have to start looking at uh, in other agencies. We had a panel discussion talking about our process of continuous improvement across design and construction to uh, facilitate delivering new schools for the Department of Education. I work for the STV Bradford. We are consultants to the uh, School Construction Authority. And the reason why I'm here is to support the SCA. I'm very excited and one of the things I've learned is the kind of the maximum, the capacity of project that the SCA is doing and they are providing opportunities for a lot of contractors, especially for the uh, minority business contract. So I'm excited and uh, I'm also here for networking and hope to meet some different people. And we're here today because schools are very, very important to us and make up a major part of our design portfolio and we've been very privileged to work with the SCA for many years and it's an honor to be able to be here today and help them see their mission. We just completed the um, SCA day at McGraw Hill which we try to do almost every year. We feel it's important to get the word out about our new five-year capital plan and initiatives at the SCA. Uh, so it's important to us to have that rapport and relationship with the contractors and architects and engineers around the city that uh, do our work and we look forward to seeing you again at the next program.